Hey there, thanks for joining me. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And also, if you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. And don't forget to click on that bell button so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. So for today's 3 Minute Friday, we're going to use three of these 8x10 picture frames and also an option of the mirrors. Now, if you want to use Dollar Tree, um, all the Dollar Tree supplies, then I would say use four of the 8x10 mirrors. And we're going to need 20 of these card holder mini picture frames. Remove everything from the frames including the little black uh, clips that it has in the back and then we're going to pull it apart okay and then um, there's two longer sides and two shorter sides so basically with the same hook that it came with just go ahead and insert it into the other one and that's the larger hook the larger frame uh, pieces and then you do the same with the smaller uh, frame pieces and you do this to all 20 of them. Just like so. And now when you're done doing those, go ahead and get your large picture frames and you do the same, remove everything from it. All we're going to use are the actual frames themselves, but don't throw everything away. Go ahead and save it and keep it in your stash for another DIY. So go ahead and remove all the backings the little hooks that it has and then we're going on two of the larger 8x10 picture frames go ahead and just split them in half just like so and then set those aside now some of them obviously um, won't come out the right way so what I did was just get some um, fix all glue and then just glued them together instead of it since I didn't have the hook or what have you that part broke off um, just go ahead and do it this way as well and just set those aside and let them dry for a few minutes okay so the other two large frames I already showed you how to do those now the lar the third frame go ahead and pull this one all apart just like so and we're going to do the same thing as we did with the mini frames Basically, the two longer side, uh, sides of the frame, put those two together, just like so. And again, using the same hooks that it comes with and then removing whichever ones you're not going to use. The larger frames were a lot easier to work with than the smaller ones. The smaller ones are actually really sturdy. <laughs> so um, just go ahead and insert it like so and then set it aside and let those two dry. So basically one of the larger frames you're going to do the same as you did the smaller uh, 20 mini frames. And then the other two larger frames you just leave them same. And I'm just showing you that you can also make the arrows that everybody's using. The three arrows with one frame and they look really pretty. Just like that. So that's another project you might want to use uh, the larger frames with or for. Okay, so I purchased this long mirror at um, my thrift store, local thrift store for $4. So I'm using this, but like I said, the mirrors from the 8x10 mirrors that you get at Dollar Tree, I would recommend you use four of them, which basically would be the same length as this one mirror. Um, but it was just easier for me to get this one picture frame uh, mirror because it had a larger frame too so it worked out better for me now with the two frames that you did not um, pull apart you just basically broke in half we're going to use one side of one and the opposite side of the other one because um, you want the two smaller sides to go on the bottom of your mirror like so and then you would do the same with the other one and glue those two together on the bottom if that makes it hopefully that makes sense to you guys because if you use the same frame um, basically you won't have it the angle 
the way you flip it over won't be able you won't be able to do the same thing so you have to use two different frames the same side <laughs> um, but yeah so you just go ahead and I'm adding fix all glue and some hot glue and then just turn it I'm doing this upside down so I can make sure that it stays um, on the right side of the frame and then in the middle just go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue just to make sure it stays in place and now we're going to do the same to the top so now we're going to get the larger of the mini frames and then start using those first now you're going to use 10 of these on each side and then you just start placing them and gluing them together the two on the ends will be on top of the frame and then you'll start using the ones in the bottom now go um right next to the frame that you put down on the corners that's where you're going to start your triangles at and then just continue to go all the way down i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial in these three minute fridays my goal is to inspire you guys to use different objects and different items from the dollar tree that we really don't use as much um, and just try to be creative and let your imagination run wild and try to use them um, for things that, like I said, you really would never use them or even use. The, look at those items like these little frames. I really don't use them um, that much, uh, but I decided to go ahead and use this as one of my challenges. So hopefully uh, it'll inspire you guys to go out and use them, too. Now, once you're done putting the whole entire row down, just go ahead and get your hot glue gun, at least I did, and just put a little bit of extra glue on each one of the connections just to make sure it's there and secure and sturdy. I want it to be secured on the mirror. In case I do decide to uh, put this on the floor, I'm not going to put anything on the bottom um, except for the frames that I did put on there. And also in I can hang it um, so there I am adding my last two for that row okay so once you're done with that row now you're going to get the smaller ones and we're going to do two, one on the, it's going to basically be, well, I should have started at the beginning, but it's basically going to be two together. And then you're going to skip one of the little angles. So I'm using the sticks since it's only the corner that's going to be glued into the little triangle part like so. I'm using the glue stick, um, the, the sticks and the hot glue to glue them onto the larger frame of the mini pictures, the mini picture frames, just like so. Now you can also use popsicle sticks, um, but that's what I had on hand, these little sticks. So that's what I'm using and you can get those at Walmart and they're 98 cents. Just like that now I can even see you using this or me doing something like this um, and hanging it on my wall sideways the way basically the way it's laying right now um, and in that way instead of it being long long ways um, and you can just decorate the top this make where I'm doing right now the side could be the top part of your mirror and that would be really pretty also um, but I wanted you to use this in my bedroom um, long ways as a long full-length mirror so you go ahead and you skip one of the two triangles, if you notice right now, and then you add two of the points again with the small frames. And you just repeat the process, adding a little bit of hot glue and some um, fix-all glue, and then you add your little sticks or popsicle sticks or whatever you choose to use 
to just secure your small frames to your larger frames. Just like that. And then again, once you're, you're happy with it and it's all completely dry, just go ahead and um, repeat it and add some more hot glue if you'd like to make sure that it's all stays uh, nice and secure. Now on the top right there, instead of having two, I'm only going to add one of the small points. So basically, if you're going, going to start from the bottom, it's in between the two, you'll add one point skip one and then add two points skip one and then add two points again and then you'll skip one and then you'll add one point just where i'm doing right now just like that or um you can make your own design uh, i'm sure there's a few ways you can do this uh, but since i wanted this to only take less than 20 minutes um, this one did take me a good 20 to 30 minutes, but that's just because um, the longest part was pulling apart all the little mini frames. So if you want to do the mini frames one night and then do this project the next day, I mean, that would still take a little bit of time, you know, 20, 30 minutes in total, but it wouldn't seem as much. So you do one side and now I'm going to do the top part. So with the frame, the larger frame that we did the same as we did the small parts, putting the two long ones together and the two short ones together, um, we're going to actually add some E6000 or fix all glue and hot glue and point it to the top using the, your larger one first. And then you're going to repeat the process, adding the glues to your smaller point. Just like this. And then you add that to inside of your large point on your top, just like that. And just hold it for a little bit just to make sure it stays secure. And now we're going to add some of two of the small points inside like this, side by side. And then we'll add one of the small points in the middle. So basically you're going to need three of the small points for the top part. And then once you secure it, again, you can add some hot glue or fix all glue just to make sure it um, stays nice and secure after you've glued it all together. Let me know in the comments down below where you'll be using your mirrors. And if you're going to try to find one at your local thrift store or you're going to plan to use the ones from Dollar Tree. Um, my first initial thoughts were to use the ones from Dollar Tree. But like I said, I went to my local thrift store and I found this mirror for the same price of the four mirrors that I was going to buy. And this one had a frame around it as well. So it was a, it was a bigger mirror for me. So I just figured I might as well buy this one. And also, if you didn't want to use the four mirrors from Dollar Tree and you wanted a long uh, standing mirror like this one, you can buy these kind of mirrors at Walmart for, I believe they're like $5 with a thinner frame, but they'll still work and it'll still be one solid mirror. Now, you just do the same thing to the other side once you're done with the top part. And if you notice, we added two of the small frames um, on either side of each point also. And then you just do the same thing you did to the opposite side, adding your points first, your large points connected to your mirror, and then your smaller points um, connected to your larger points of your mini frames, which was the one large one point and then two points and then one point you skip in between. <laughs> if you hopefully you guys make I make sense to you guys, but this is the way it looks all completed. And I absolutely love it. Like I said, I might do something like this um, using the Dollar Tree or using two of the long standing mirrors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye.